I have no idea how we even got here. I feel like we were just at a nice, slow, steady pace, and now we are running at warp speed. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. For those of you who are new, my name is Stephanie and my husband and I are just documenting our journey through IVF, our marriage, our faith, our first pregnancy. And wow, do I have a lot to update you on in like literally five days time. I I don't know how, how we got here. So oh, quick little recap. I am currently today filming this 37 weeks pregnant. I went to the doctor on Friday, five days ago. That was gonna be our last growth scan for a little man that's growing and it came back and they said that he was measuring behind on his abdo abdominal wall. I think I'm saying that right. Everything else was looking fine. Heart rate, growth, um, his skull, everything else was fine except for his stomach and abdominal wall. And they said that he was just measuring behind at least a week and he was only measuring about five and a half pounds. And According to all of my apps, it should have been about six pounds. And so I was already a little like, what's going on? Like, is he okay? You know, just starting to freak out. And so they referred us to the high risk specialist again. So if you are familiar with us and you know our story, then you know that we've already been to the high risk doctor twice for possible trisomy 13 um, issues. And so that was just not exactly what I was expecting to hear that day. So I left the doctor and was just kind of very confused because I was like, what happened? Like, everything has been fine on all these ultrasounds on the, during the week, but then I realized that those weren't actually growth scans. They were just, you know, making sure the heartbeat's still good and just kind of watching him, making sure that he's breathing okay and stuff like that. So the last time we did a growth scan was at 32 weeks, so four weeks ago, and everything at that time was fine too. So, so this has happened within the last month and so as I'm driving home, I'm just getting a little more overwhelmed because one, we're going back to the high risk person and I just start wondering if it's something that I've done. Um, have I not been eating enough to support him? You know, what have, what have I done to, to do this to my baby? And so I tried to stay off of Google as much as possible and not, you know, go down that rabbit hole because I know what I can do. And so, I just started praying about it, you know, a ton and just asking God to just watch over our little guy and just make sure that he's okay. I was very aware all weekend long of how often I felt him moving around and if I didn't feel him for so long, I would either try and walk around or lay down, just trying to do something to get him to move. So just very, very aware of if I felt him or not. So, and I told my husband, I said, if I don't feel him moving, we're going to the hospital right away. So. Then we go to Monday. We were able to get into the high risk doctor Monday morning, so thankfully for that. And she confirmed the same thing, said that his abdominal wall is just measuring behind about a week or two than what everything else is. So she said they see this, like three different scenarios typically come up whenever they see this. One would be if the baby has chromosomal issues, which she said, I don't see that being the problem. And number two thing could be that he, um, that I have something going on, whether that's um, high blood pressure, diabetes, stuff like that. And she said, and nothing of your blood work, your results, nothing has shown that. So we don't think that that's it. And she said, and the third thing that we see is probably the most common. And a lot of times with women that are just older and especially with like IVF babies is that the placenta just kind of stops working and it doesn't function at hundred percent anymore. And so that's pretty much what's happened. So. My placenta is still working. It's just not like doing 100% of its job anymore. So little man is probably just not getting as much nutrition and vitamins and stuff like that that what he needs. And so that's what's causing him to start slowing down on his growth. So then we go back to my doctor. So now it is Wednesday. And so it's five days from our last ultrasound. and. Again, ultrasound wise, everything is fine. Um, they didn't do a growth scan today, but as of Monday with the high risk specialist, um, they did a growth scan as well and he was still measuring under six pounds. So, so he's still very tiny. Talking with my doctor today, getting just a game plan of what's gonna happen. So we are gonna be induced um, much earlier than I thought. I thought we were on like a 20 day countdown and we are on like a, a seven day or less countdown at this point. 
So we are trying to get everything confirmed with the hospital because typically they do inductions, like schedule those two weeks out and we're trying to schedule within a week. So we're waiting on the hospital to call us back and figure out if we can get in and get induced this week. So, or within this week of my pregnancy. That is where we are. Um, and again, it's been a very wild and crazy five days and just, just scary in the sense that I want to make sure that I'm doing everything that I can to give him as much nutrition as he possibly can be getting. And so my, the high risk doctor just suggested that I start taking like, if she's like, if you like the insurers or boosts, taking some kind of protein. Um, if you have your own protein drink, she said, take that. So I, the Shakeology that I drink is a protein drink. So I've been trying to incorporate one of those a day, just making sure that I'm finding a spot in my meal plan to make sure and get that in and just eating lots of like protein and healthy fats is what she said. So eggs for breakfast, um, I'll do an apple and peanut butter. Um, I'm not a huge fan of avocados but I'll try and start working those in too. <laughs> Very quick update. Um, not really going to go into like symptoms and all that because this is kind of taking priority <laughs> over everything. And so we are just not scrambling because we did go and get everything like our hospital bags are packed. You will, I will um, upload that video for you guys. And so I'll show you how I'm setting everything up for in our bedroom and all of that this weekend and get all that filmed. And so I'll have these things coming and I will update you guys on his birth story and all of that because oh my gosh, it's it's gonna be here like really soon. In my doctor's appointment today, I did get checked um, just so that my doctor knows what medication I need, to, I need to be started on when we do get to the hospital and cervical checks. Yeah, I've seen so many people post and say, oh, it's not that bad, don't worry. And then I've seen the dramatic other side of, oh, it's terrible, it hurts so bad and I was like, I don't know what to expect from this thing. I've never had one before. And so I talked to my, I said it to my OB when she started like getting everything ready. I was like, yeah, I've heard that these can be really bad or they don't hurt that bad at all. And she was like, yeah, I'm gonna go with they're not good. <laughs> so I was like, awesome. Yay, let's go for this. Yeah, it's not comfortable at all. Not even a little bit. I, I was like, you've gotta be feeling some resistance at some point. So she had just said at the end, she was like, if you had gone to the hospital, they probably would have only told you that you were like a fingertip, maybe. She was like, I'm gonna give you a one. She was like, but you're definitely not thinning out. Your cervix is not softening, nothing like that. She said, so if you happen to go into labor before we induce you, she said, you know, that's always a possibility. And she was like, I just don't see it happening. And I said, I don't either. This kid is still super high. He is just nice and toasty and warm in there. He's not in a hurry to come out, I can tell you that. So I just don't have that feeling. Like it just doesn't seem like it's coming anytime soon. So for reference, we'll show you the little bump up data as of 37 weeks today. So here he is, still nice and high. <laughs> So like I said, he's not going anywhere. Now we have the rest of this week and weekend to just kind of prep and mentally prepare for what's to come next week. So that is it for this video. I just wanted to give you guys an update and just let you know that these last five days have been just an absolute crazy whirlwind, just not knowing what's coming. And now today, just being able to like wrap our head around what's gonna happen. Thank you guys so much for praying for us. If you liked this video, if you found it helpful, make sure you give it a big thumbs up, click that little subscribe button. I hope you guys have a wonderful week. Take care and God bless.